hello. My name's Robert Llewellyn, and this is Fully Charged, and behind me is something rather interesting. So, Glenn, thank you very much for letting us come to your house. Uh, this is very exciting. So, you have a, a Powerwall battery. That's yes. basically, because that's the thing, you can walk past this and not even notice it. No. But that is a battery then. Yes, yes, yes. And then that's connected to your, so you've got solar panels solar on your Solar PV, roof. yes, on the right. back of the house. Right. Um, link down this cable here into a little box of tricks and then yeah. into there. Yeah. And then, so, have you now noticed a, a, a difference? In, Massively. In, oh, right. Yes. It has, it, We're barely drawing any electricity in from the grid these days. Wow. Four or five percent a day. Four or five percent yeah. from the grid. Oh, yeah. My goodness. I mean, yeah. We are in the middle of summer, so yes. it probably it will vary. Yeah. Over the, so how long have you had it? How long it's have you been had the whole for system? Three months. Right. So you've had time to see yes. the difference. Yeah. And did you have the solar before? No, it was all installed. So it was in all installed in one go. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So right. yeah, because me and my partner we work. Um, that we was going to obviously produce an electricity while we was out of work. Yeah. And um, this is a way to store that energy so that in the evenings you can use your free energy. Right. Well, I'm fascinated with how automatic that is. I mean, how much control of that you have to do. But you, can, you don't can have you... to have any control. Right. No, it's you... all done. It's all controlled itself right. with... So during the day then, that, the solar panels charge this battery yeah. up and then you come in. But I mean, you, you don't need to switch anything. No, it's absolutely no, no, seamless. It. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, it's seamless. And um, there's a little app you can get and you can see what percentage your, of electricity you're using. So Glenn, this is the app that you use then to see what, oh, it, it's brilliant, I love it. I'm just, just taking it all in now. Yeah, so it's ev all the information of your whole house, what production it's um, using, what your panels are using, state of the battery, the Tesla Powerwall, and what you're exporting into the grid. Right. And that changes Constantly, that, that's going, right. So at the moment, the, the, the panels are producing one point, was it, six, nine kilowatts, yeah. which are all going into the house, which is only consuming 0.27. Yeah. So 1.43 going into the grid. Battery is at 96%. Not using any battery, because wow. obviously it's coming direct from the panels. The production there. You just had a text. <laughs> just a text message there, look, <laughs> from my dad. From your dad. <laughs> Perfect timing. Thanks, dad. <laughs> Couldn't have timed that better. And it gives you, this is on a day, so self-consumption is 48%. Oh, so it's 48% from the panels, so yeah. you've consumed that, that yeah. much in the house. And I've exported 52%, 52 percent. Yeah. produced 12.36 kilowatts right. in a day. Kilowatt hours. Kilowatt yeah. hours, yeah. But then this is your consumption. consumption. Is this for today? Yeah. So you've consumed 3% of your electricity yeah. from the grid. Isn't that yeah. absolutely extraordinary? It's yeah. such a tiny percentage. Yeah. So it's a real big change. That's yeah. the thing that's very obvious. And then there's the graph that's at the bottom. Uh, so that's your production. The green production. is production and the self-consumption. The self-consumption meaning from the battery. Yeah. Which has done a few spikes today then. Yeah. But none, there's, you know, I'm looking for a bit of red. There's no. a bit of red over tiny, I think there's a tiny red line overnight. Possibly, yeah. Tiny bit, but I mean, it's fractional, it's yeah. 3%. Yeah. yeah. So you've used 0.21 kilowatt hours from the grid in a yeah. day. That is incredible. Happy incredible. with that. Incredible, isn't that amazing? Yeah. 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 So have you got longer, like, what, so what does yeah, a week so look like? Yeah, so you can do it on a week, weekly basis. It's pretty so the same. So there, it's pretty much the same. You've used 7% over a week. Over a week, and then in a month, 6%. 6%, that is incredible. That is incredible because if people think of what their electricity bill is, I mean, if, it, if your electricity bill was, say, a thousand pounds a year, I'm just yeah. doing it to simplify it, you're paying 6% of that. What's 6% yeah. of a thousand? I can't do maths, but it's not much money. No, no. It makes a massive difference. Yeah. So over 10 years, yeah. you're saving thousands of pounds, basically, yeah. from, from installing this. Yeah. I mean, it's an incredible change, isn't it? Yeah. So you haven't found then that, that you're like, you, you, you come in back in the evening and you've got washing machine and your lights on no, and everything, it, and this runs out. It's, no. it's, it's, it's coped yeah. with it. Right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's, this will work all through the evening. It'll have the, all the TVs on, lights, dishwasher, right. uh, washing machine, right. and then the next morning, Sun, sun again. The sun comes out yeah. and it starts again. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is, because I mean, I know you, I don't know how many children you've got, but I noticed some s serious gaming going yeah. on in the house. That's so right. That, yeah. And they, because actually that's the thing we we're, we're so unaware of because it's so normal. Mm. But those things use a lot of electricity. Yes. I didn't know. No. But tellies I didn't know and until you get, yeah. and computers and yeah. all those things makes you a lot more aware of where the electricity is right. going. Have you? I was going to say. Have yes. you noticed that? It does. Yes, it does definitely. Yeah. 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 And what I mean, what are the, is the, have the kids? responded to it at all or are they I yeah, mean, they're I quite mean young, they, they? yeah I mean they they know about the Tesla brand right. and whatever and they're just waiting for the car to be on right. the drive next 
That's what they're more yeah. interested yeah. in. Dad when got a battery get the and he didn't get the car. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah but i mean because i'm you know i mean it was a constant parental struggle to get your children you know i did that for years turn yeah. off the lights why do you leave all the lights on and all yeah. that stuff with no you know and they were just going oh, that's so boring you know but i wonder whether that whether they're, they're, they're a lot more aware now more of, of what electricity world. we're using only for the fact that i'm a lot more aware of what electricity yeah. we're using but you're going to see a massive change in your electricity bill I mean, yes. if you're, at the moment yeah. even if it's only for the middle of the summer that's you're right, using yeah. four percent of what you used to yeah. use yeah that's a staggering difference exactly yeah it's quite well hidden here it's anyway, very discreet isn't it, isn't it? Yeah. no i came down here looking for it and yeah. walked past it so yeah. it doesn't really jump out at you no and it's not i mean this is we're in quite a narrow passage here yeah. it makes really no, no difference. difference you're not going to yeah. bash into it are you and i think you can have them installed inside on yeah. garage walls and right and what's amazing is that at the moment it's probably charging because it's sunny yeah and those those panels are yeah. in the sun. Isn't that extraordinary? Yes. They're, they're, yeah, we're here and they can't. Yeah. I can't hear no, nothing. No, <laughs> you can't even hear it actually. No. It's um, occasionally it makes a little humming noise. Oh, does it? Right. Yeah. Because it's got yes, it's liquid cooled. Yes. I didn't know about that. That's yes. amazing. It's got its own cooling system right. in it. Oh, thanks very much, Glenn. That's really yeah, good of you no to, to let us have a look at it. Great stuff. Cheers. Thank you. So, Chris, do you, uh, I guess, uh, you know, when I sort of first met you, I just assumed you were one of those blokes that climbs up ladders and puts solar panels on roofs. But you, you've got a slightly more academic background. Well, I do. Yes, do uh, I've been uh, a senior researcher at Oxford University for for the last uh, fifteen years, right. uh, and also set up uh, a PV company called Joju Solar uh, ten years ago, where I fulfill the role of technical director right so you and you were studying were you studying kind of energy policy or what, what was your what was your so my, my very first background was uh studying solar pv back in 2000 uh, i had the good fortune to run the very first test site uh, of solar pv in the uk just to see if this if technology works actually yeah. works at all and if so which kinds of technologies would be best once we'd found that out, then obviously the question became more around policy and economics and business and how do we get solar panels out there? Yeah. I somehow assumed that Glenn had had solar panels and then he went, oh, I want to put a battery in. But you put the whole system in in one go. Yeah, so we put the whole system in in one go. That seems to be the most uh, economic way of putting in a battery system at the moment right. is, to, is to combine it with solar and to put them both in at the same time. What I've seen of his figures, it, I think we can confidently say the system works. Absolutely, and particularly in the middle of summer, yeah. like we are at the moment. Yeah, the the battery's filling up every day and fulfilling pretty much all of all of Glenn's yeah. nighttime usage. Because I mean, today he's had three percent, from you know, judging by his app, three percent of his power has come from the grid, which is a, a speck, isn't it? I mean, it's nothing. Yeah, it's a it's a tiny, tiny proportion. Right. Obviously, you do need to be able to fill the batteries up right. in order to be able to do that. So you're probably looking at a, a sort of nine month period. Uh, from from March through to to October time, where there will be enough solar energy around in order to fill the battery up and allow that evening and nighttime uses to to be drawn off of the battery. Mm. I think if you go down to the winter time when the solar resource in the UK is much much lower, then the battery will struggle to to fill up as much, right. and so it won't be operating quite as effectively yep. within those winter months. But over the course of the year, we would expect you to be able to use maybe something like 75, 80 uh, percent of self-generated electricity right. and, and very, very little imported from the grid. Oh, wow, that is extraordinary. Yes, because obviously on a day like today, it's been a really sunny, hot day in the middle of the summer. The, the panels are going to produce enough more than it, or they weigh more than the battery can store. So that it's very obvious. But I, I know from having solar panels at home in the winter, that's a much reduced amount. So, but you think over a balanced over the year, then that's it, it's going to be roughly in we that would think 75, something 80 like percent. seventy-five, eighty percent. Yeah, because yeah. this is what we're looking at as a microcosm of what could be in the in the fairly near future. I mean, the technology already exists. Absolutely. So one of the exciting things about batteries is that there's this sort of individual household level where the individual householder is generating solar in the day, they're not in, so they can shift that load to, to, to the evening and the night time when, when they are about and they get to use the solar electricity that they've generated. On a bigger scale, um, the, it's actually very helpful for, for electricity networks and the way in which they, they operate. So we're seeing increasing amounts of solar on the grid, which is actually putting quite a, a comprehensive dip uh, into the amount of electricity that's required from fossil fuel generators during the middle of the day, but it's not doing very much 
to address the high evening peak uh, when we have high levels of demand because everyone comes home and puts on the kettle, puts on the TV uh, and, and starts cooking. So what we can actually do is, is start moving some of that solar generation into the evening and reducing that evening peak, um, which will make the electricity grid a lot easier to manage. Uh, it means we will need less fossil fuel um, to produce our electricity and it means we will need less power stations. One can probably get away with building less power stations if we install batteries right. instead. Right. We're at very, very early stages within the, the battery market in the UK. At the moment, I would estimate there's probably somewhere around about a thousand uh, battery devices installed so far. Solar's actually had a, a very long-term steady growth rate of around about 40% a year right. for around about the last 20 years. Um, that's a very, very sustained and, and high level uh, of, of rate of growth. I think if you look at the fastest growing industries uh, worldwide, wind power growing at something like 30-35% a year, solar growing very fast, uh, and probably to pick of the bunch at the moment would be LED lighting, which is growing at around about 140% a year <laughs> in terms of, of its market right, growth. Right, right. So I think you're seeing with all these kind of environmental technologies um, that these very, very fast rates of growth, very rapid penetrations, very, very quickly become a very normal technology. And, and I think it would be quite easy to, to see batteries following the same kind of trajectory. Well, that's all for this week's show, coming from this lovely back garden in St Albans. I've got massive battery envy now. I just want, I just want a Tesla Powerwall. It's not fair, I want one now. Uh, what's been amazing, though, is to, to talk to the family and find out how much their awareness of their energy use has increased. Even the kids, quite young children that live here, are aware of it. I mean, clearly they want Dad to get a Tesla Model S, not just the battery on the wall, that was very clear, but it's really impressive technology. And even if it's only today that they're only using 3% of their electricity from the grid, Today, they're only using 3% of their electricity has come from the grid. I mean, that is a remarkable change. I think it's amazing technology. Anyway, that's all for now. Please uh, have a look at the Patreon page if you are thinking of supporting Fully Charged because we'd really appreciate it. Obviously, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love that. Leave a comment because people do. And uh, if you have been, thank you for watching.